Hey, what's up everyone? It's Oz with Tow Trucks, Cars, Energy Drinks. And today we're here because I'm going to do a little video on the toolbox uh, tray that I have on top here that I keep all my wood in. And uh, someone just asked me in my comments, like, can you please do a video of it because I want to build one. And uh, I'm just going to do a simple video on this. I mean, it's not the most complicated toolbox topper. Uh, all I really had to do was just cut up these two by sixes to make them 50 inches long. And then uh, I had the little bit of one by that uh, I had to measure the obviously the equal length to kind of butt up to the factory toolbox so I can get maximum uh, grip on it and it can give me the most space possible for extra wood without uh, hindering the toe bed or anything like that. So uh, I raised it up about an inch just so when the water comes in and it starts raining it just dissipates right down on through it. When I bolted it into the actual toolbox I definitely RTV'd it heavily. And then after that uh, dried, I threw some rhino liner on it just to make sure I didn't get no water coming inside of my toolbox. So after that was sealed from the top and the bottom, I went ahead, just drilled out the bolt holes and just used a standard hardware kit to, uh, you know, brace in those two by sixes in that one by. And it came out pretty good. Um, one thing I like about it is it's big enough to hold these four by four blocks. And I'm sure you guys know storage and real estate on a tow truck is precious. I wish I had another two toolboxes on here and I'll probably build another one for that other side because I can always use more wood. And uh, aside from the four by four long boys, which uh, usually I cut them, but uh, you can notch them or just do it like that. Sometimes as you guys see in my videos, I'll just put up another uh, little tiny block like this to it. So that way it'll kind of stair step it up. And um, I got the long one right here. This is a eight inch piece of wood right here which sometimes I'll just level the bed out with that and throw that underneath the lip and then butt some two by sixes up to it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I kept it really simple and uh, functionable and it really cost me nothing to do this because I had all my stuff just laying around and it was all just thrown together with spare parts. And I've been rocking this baby for about a year and a half now. And I made it right here, right in my driveway, right at home. And I remember I was sweating and I was mad at Brian because he was supposed to bring me some stuff over and he never did. So I just had to bust it all out by myself. And uh, aside from that, I went and got a little toolbox right here and uh, I just bolted it up in RTV and welded it right to the side of the, of the big toolbox there instead of having to buy a whole big expensive one. And I uh, did one on each side and it's been holding up pretty well. Had to re-weld on it one time, but uh, other than that, it's been good. So as always, we're gonna do a twofer. So uh, let's go ahead and do a little update to this toolbox because I can't let you guys show me up. So I guess we're going to have to just spruce it up a little tiny bit. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. Look at that. Oz just made himself a custom little trim piece for it. And when that's covered up with the tow truck bed, it's going to look absolutely amazing. Wait till you guys see in store what I have next. So I did that for you guys so you can save money, be safe, load cars, and be able to store wood and all kinds of extra stuff in your tow box. Oz is always uh, looking out for you. So uh, it's getting hot out here. I'm going to go get something to drink. So as always, please like and subscribe. Oz, Tow Trucks, Cars, Energy Drinks, out.